A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. If you hear noise, it's my printer printing. But hello, welcome to another studio vlog. I am glad to finally be back doing art things, working things, trying to get back into the groove of everything. So I'm very excited for this week. So today I am printing out all of the stickers for my Patreon mailed rewards. I am slightly behind track, just like a day or two behind track of doing this, but you guys know I've been busy with the apartment. But today I am printing all of it out and cutting all of it, and then tomorrow I can start prepping to pack them up and send them out. So that will be today, and while it's printing, because it's gonna take a while, I am going to run to my local craft store really quick and look for some different colored yarn for punch needling. Right now I have a couple rolls of colors. When I looked at the yarn that they had at Michael's, I was like, oh, they have some colors that I've never seen here. So I'm gonna pick up just a few, maybe like three rolls of colors that I really enjoy. So yeah, so I am setting up my little hoop for some punch needling. And I think I'm gonna start with a frog because that is, you know, something that I'm very comfortable with and that I'm very confident that I will like. So I'm gonna start off with that and then I'm gonna make my little froggy. Hello, happy Tuesday. Excuse my cricket noise. I still have about 30 sheets of stickers to cut and then I will be finished with that. But I, today, as you saw, I am going to be making a Patreon reward. So we hit 250 patrons, patrons on Patreon. So I am doing a little desktop wallpaper with some folder icons. So I'm gonna draw that up and finish that up this week. And I also finished punch needling my little frog. 
And now I need to glue him and glue these down. Yeah, today's gonna be pretty boring because, you know, just doing a lot of paper cutting and I printed out the patron addresses and I added this little strawberry to the addresses. But yeah, today's gonna be a pretty chill day, but I do need to run to Target right now for a few items. So let's, let's go to Target. Okay, so I went to Target, but I also went to Kinokuniya, and I bought a couple blind boxes. The little Sony Angel Babies had been sold out for a long time, and you guys know that I collect these, so I wanted to do a little unboxing. This is the flower series. I have the Pansy and the Morning Glory, and Yuki says hello. <laughs> Uh, but I am wanting the tulip, of course, or the cactus, or the sunflower, but mostly the tulip, or the acorn would be good. Oh, no, Yuki. <laughs> the acorn would be good, too. So, let's see. Oh, I think it's the sunflower. I hope it is. It is! Oh, how cute! I think he's gonna go in my studio space. Okay, so I have the heart balloon there, but I don't have him at my office space. So I think I would like the present hug or the birthday cake hug bear, but let's see. Oh, we got another balloon bear. His hat is really cute though. Okay, he might go in my office space because I think his hat is really cute. I'm really wanting the strawberry, but I already have the pear. So as long as I get any that aren't the pear, honestly, I love all of them. But I really, really want the strawberry. Is this the, is it a durian or a jackfruit? It's a durian. Oh, I think this is so cool. So I have the duck, which I really do love. I think it's in my office space. But I am really aiming for the cow, the sheep would be really cute too, or the lesser panda, but really, really hoping for the cow. This is why I have not filmed. This is Yuki's new brother. He is a black medium hair, we're thinking. Um, he's not quite a short hair, but he's not quite a long hair either. But he is very precious to me. I adopted him from an animal control center. So he's very... Uh, <laughs> he loves being around people and he loves affection more than anything. I haven't given him a name as of today. My patrons are currently helping me name him because I just had so many options. I just can't pick for some reason, but this is, I, I think he smells my breath because I had uh, lunch earlier, but 
this is the new kitty. I am having a pretty rough time introducing him to Yuki. New cat in, in her environment, so you know, she is hissing at him, but we are slowly making progress. You know, the first day she was terrified, but now she is like more and more curious to see what he's about. But yeah, it's gonna take us a while to be adjusted to a new a new family member. Now we're a family of three. Catching up with work uh, for the rest of the week, really. That's all I'm gonna be doing. You guys will join me <laughs> and see how that goes. So hopefully he will have a name next time in the, in the next, yeah, in the next few days, so. Finally, chaos has calmed down a little bit. Quick cat update. Today, Yuki ran up to Salem. That's his name now. Yes, I have a name past me. But yeah, Yuki ran up to Salem and she's never approached him before, but she ran to him and she smelled him and they touched noses and everything. But then he reached out to touch her and then she hissed. So if he approaches her, she will hiss, but she does like get close to him now which is huge, today is day six, um, so I'm very excited. I'm thinking that in like after another week maybe, I'll be able to have them both just roam free, which is very exciting. I'm, re I'm very much hoping for that. So you guys, I think saw me earlier in this vlog, you guys saw me buy this uh, block printing kit and I'm finally gonna use it today. Oh, that was my ice machine. I'm finally gonna use it today because today I finally have time and it came with uh, I forgot what these are actually called. My professor would hate me. This, the block printing ink, the, I believe this is a, called a lino, linoleum block. I could be wrong. And of course the tools, you open this thing up and it has like the different tips that you put down here. But yeah, so it came with everything and uh, I'm very excited. I did draw a design. Let me find my iPad. So it's literally just an outline. Um, but it's Yuki and Salem together and I'm just gonna transfer it. I actually already started transferring it, but I'm gonna transfer it onto this piece of paper. I don't have regular copy paper, so I just ripped this out of like a journal that I have and I'm tracing it from my iPad like with the correct size with the block. Thank you. 
Okay, so here is my little block with the design transferred onto it. Um, I don't have like transfer paper or anything, so that was the best that I could do to transfer. So now I am going to actually do the carving and I think I'm actually gonna leave out the mouth. That's why I didn't do Salem's mouth because those details are super small. Um, I hope that I don't mess this up. Will I? Probably, to be honest, because I've never done this before, so. But yeah, I've never carved into one of these blocks, so I'm just gonna, oh, okay. Oh, this one's really small, so, hmm, okay. Well, let's begin. Okay, so I believe I have finished. It took me about an hour to get it fully carved out. And now I'm going to do the first print and see what I need to fix about it. Hopefully it doesn't look too terrible, but let us try. Normally I use these on glass, but I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. I hope that doesn't. Uh... Let's do it. Let's hope I do it centered. Should probably use the book next to me. Okay. Oh, so fun. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. It actually turned out really well. Okay, so now I'm gonna kind of like carve out these extra pieces. Okay, let's do attempt number two. I don't have a piece of glass. Well, this turned out much better than I thought, and I am glad that I decided to experiment with this. Hi friends! I am wearing my baby earrings again <laughs> because they're literally my favorite, but today is Saturday, last day- oh. He just has his collar on when I'm not able to watch him because then he gets lost and I can't find him. I did the same thing with Yuki when she was a baby. Yes, today's the last day of the vlog. This week really was about getting back into that routine and getting my creative brain flowing. And it was a painful few days that I couldn't get my creative brain flowing. But yesterday I finally had a breakthrough when I was making July's Patreon awards. I will show you guys because I really love them. Okay, so here is the print. So this is the print. It's a little bit washed out because of the sun. Oh, there we go. This is the print. I am absolutely in love with it. I wanted to do a summer theme for July because July just really feels very summery to me, at least for the Northern Hemisphere. And then I made this sticker, which I'm super happy about because I never knew how to draw capybaras, but I finally drew one and he is so precious. And then I haven't finished the other two. Well, I did this one, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it, but uh, I think I will. This is the second one and then I'm still needing to come up with the third. So I'm like super happy with them. I'm feeling very myself creatively again, finally, after like, three months of not feeling that way. Very excited for next week. The shop update 
is July 2nd, that is next Friday, or maybe this coming Friday by the time that this video goes up. So next week we'll be prepped for that. I really just have to take pictures and redesign the website. But yeah, for the rest of the day, gonna be a lot of digital drawing. So before I close out today's vlog, I really quickly wanted to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. So if you don't know what Squarespace is, it's an all-in-one platform where you can create your very own website, where I personally have always run my website and my online business. They have some really great tools to help you with your online business, such as the commerce tool, so you can keep track of all of your orders. Website analytics is really great, so you can see exactly how your website is doing. And the design interface is super easy to use, and even if you're really good at coding, it allows you to do that as well. So if you are interested in a Squarespace free trial, you can go to squarespace.com and then use my code for 10% off your first purchase.